words a elegant top Put up your hands. Oh, it's you, Mr. Dennis. Gave me quite a start, you did. Fair fright the wit out of me. I was just reading about Howard, the hatchet man. He was just going to hit poor Lady Ethel over the head with an axe when you came upon me. And while poor Lady Ethel is being hit over the head with an axe, poor Bill is walking up and down out there in the fog, catching his death of cold, waiting for you. <gasps> no idea how late it was. What with the hatchet man murdering this one and that one? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, good evening, Mr. Curtis. Good evening, Tim. Well, what's it going to be? A small beer for mine, and you better draw two and have one with me. I'm off for Paris in the morning on a bit of a holiday. First one I've had in three years. Mm, that's a bit of all right, ain't it, sir? Here, here. Where do you think you're going? Oh, I'll be right back, Mr. Tim's honest, I will. I'm just going out to see Bill for half a moment. <laughs> that young Bessie, you know, give her a finger and she takes an hand. Ah, oh, Tim's, it's spring. Oh, it's spring all the year round with that young lady. Well, I looks towards you. Here's good luck. <laughs> That's enough of that, Bill. Oh, that concert's getting on me nerves. Don't case it will whistle anything else. How do I know? Well, he's your boss, ain't he? He might as well not be for all I sees of him. He don't ever come in till closing time. Gives me a how do you do, and that's all. Well, he pays your salary, doesn't he? Oh, yes, but you think he'd have a word to say to me? Even if it was only to complain. And when I tries to talk to him about business, he ain't even interested. Well, you should be glad you got a good job. Oh, he stopped. You expect him to whistle all night? He's probably closing up. Just as we was talking about him. You've been reading too many of those penny dreadfuls. Well, it never hurt no one to do a bit of reading. It's educating, that's what. I'll take a bit of sparking any time. Oh, that's the trouble with you, Bill. You're physical. <laughs> I'm metal. Oh. It's all very well to have a bit of fun now and then, but... Blimey, look. Gives me the creeps, he does. Rum looking lot. Wonder what he wants with Casey. He's out for a bit of no good, that one. Oh, there you go again. Well, you was worried yourself. You just said so. I was not. It's just that Casey's been acting sort of jumpy lately. I don't know what's been biting him, but. This is your last chance, Casey. Yes, no, please, no. Oh, no, you don't. Please. Leave me alone. He's locked Casey in. I don't like this. Come on. I can see poor Casey clear as life, lying in a pool of blood. Mr. Casey! Mr. Casey! I told you something was up the minute I seen him. Mr. Casey! Look, you better run over to a bob and phone for a bobby. I'll stay here. All right. Run along. <laughs> Mr. Casey! <laughs> Mr. Tim! Call for the police, quick! Hey, what are you talking about? It's Mr. Casey. He's been done away with proper. Casey? He's been done away with? He's in his shop. Tim's, maybe you better call Scotland Yards. Now, wait a minute, Bessie. Calm down and tell me exactly what happened. Oh, and Mr. Dennis, you see, it was like this. Bill and I were sitting out. What do you think you're trying to do here? Tried to break in, was you? Just a minute, officer. Just a minute. I'm Michael Dennis of the Daily Mercury. Mr. Casey's been locked in his shop here and we're afraid something might have happened to him. Mr. Casey! Mr. Casey! Mr. Casey! Locked in, all right. Let me take his shoulder. Oh, gives me creeps. Oh, be careful. He may have killed him with one of them poisonous insects. Oh, I can see poor Casey now lying behind the counter with his head bashed in. Is he... is he dead? What is it, sir? Well, there's nothing here. Oh. Bill, are you certain there's no other way out of this shop? No cellar or anything? No, sir, there's no other way out except there. Oh! Oh, maybe they burned him. What's going on in here? Well, officer, you better keep him all outside till Scotland Yard gets Wait, here. Come on, outside here. Get outside, all of you. Get everyone. Bobby. 